My name's Kim Barker, and the movie that we're about to see, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, is based on a book I wrote called The Taliban Shuffle, Strange Days in Afghanistan and Pakistan, about my time as a reporter for the Chicago Tribune uh, in Afghanistan and Pakistan, you know, for, geez, I first went there in 2002, and I finally left in 2009. I'm really weird. I mean, obviously, I'm feeling weird. This is completely, I'm still like a newspaper reporter. You know, the whole idea of having all you guys treat me like, you know, uh, you know, somebody on the red carpet and taking my picture and saying, look over here. It's very strange for me. It feels great. It feels great. I mean, who wouldn't want Tina Fey to play them in a movie? I think she's amazing in this movie. I'm not just saying it because she's playing a version of me. She's playing Kim Baker as opposed to Kim Barker. Um, but I, I think that she did an amazing job with this movie, and I, I really think it's her best role. And I'm not just saying that because it's um, yeah. Well, no, it's darkly comic. That's why the reviewer from the New York Times said that I created a Tina Fey char character. Anybody who's over there totally gets it. You know, I came back here and I said, oh, I'm writing a darkly comic book about being in Afghanistan and Pakistan. People here would be like, it's so funny. And over there, everybody said, oh, I totally get it. And in fact, I get emails from the military and from diplomats all the time that say, your book is the only thing that made sense of all the craziness I saw over there. I mean, I, I don't, it's not like I crack jokes at the expense of Afghans or Pakistanis. I very much do a, a book that's situational humor, talking about the things that happen to me and happen to other people, and using sort of an absurdist lens. I mean, there's, and there's a plenty of history for this. Catch-22 was one of my favorite books growing up. I read Joseph Hill. I read Kurt Vonnegut. I watched MASH as a child because my father forced me to. This is very much the, what I was channeling when I wrote this book. Because, honestly, I was furious when I came back from Afghanistan and Pakistan. I was furious with the state of journalism. I was furious with what had happened to Afghanistan and Pakistan. And I wanted to write a book in a way that I felt Americans would read. So it's darkly comic. And it's got an American at the center of it, myself. And I'm very much like the, you know, the microcosm of what America did over there, the naivete that we went over there with. And I wanted it to be easy to read. And so that's what I did. And it poured out of me quite quickly. And to have all this come out of it, again, it's, I'm, I'm looking at it like a reporter. And I'm watching myself walk through here. And people saying, Kim, look over here, look over here. No, up here. I'm like, it's just surreal. It's just surreal. How did, I mean, I think Tina really likes it, you know, obviously. She yeah. put herself behind it, she, you know, she's a co-producer, um, she stars in it, and I'm happy with that. I mean, I was so, I was so fearful, you know, because it's like anytime you sign over an option to your book, you don't know what's going to happen with that. You know, people can do anything to your character or to the book that they want to, and you really just sort of have to divorce yourself from that process. But I was really pleasantly surprised with what they did with this. There's heart to it, there's pathos in it. And there's, and there's humor, there's dark comedy, uh, and it treats the relationship that I had with my fixer translator over there with a lot of respect. I was very happy with that. That's what I cared about.